just got home from work and I have something really cool to show you. Today is a special day. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. Today we got ourselves a box in and we've been waiting for this for a little while. Some of you can probably guess what it is, but we're going to open it together and we're going to go and see what we got. You need to set you up somewhere where you can actually see what's really going on because you're kind of low down here. You are. Now you can get right in on it. I've showed you all this before, so we'll leave that to last. But we got this box in today and I'll just get out the little boxes and then we'll open it all together. So we got this box, this box, and we got this box, and we got this box right here. So there you go. We'll get rid of the big box. As soon as I uh, pull out the first box, it's going to give it away. But hey, it's the way she goes, boys. It's the way she goes. First box of the day is this one. So we'll open it up like this. And oh my God, look at that. Oh, yeah. Freaking right. Come with screws, it did. But here we go. This is going to give the whole thing away, but we'll all dummy assemble it together together. Look at that, Captain. Freaking right. Good old Holly sent us. Our low ram intake they did. So we're going to take it out of the box and put it kind of somewhat together so we can see what it looks like. If you're going to get one, really consider the black one just because it's kind of a rough finish, I think. So we might have to get somebody I know to powder coat this bad boy. Hopefully that's my table and not the intake. A little off balance, there it is. I keep looking up like this, I apologize because I'm trying to look at the screen, make sure I'm in it. And the problem with these glasses is the damn friggin' progressive so i gotta tilt my head way up and look down to see the screen because if i do it like this i can't see the screen because my eyes are dead so i apologize but hey it is what it is so in this box here oh my god captain oh oh look at the fuel rails oh yeah baby look at them friggin right look at them Ooh, hey. ah. So they probably go like this somewhere. I think they go like this actually because they go on the injectors. Let's get them both out and have a gander at it. I've never installed one of these before so I don't really know. So these clamps in the bag here are for the fuel rails. So let's slot the fuel rails on and see what it looks like. We'll just do a mock-up. So we get small, big, small, small, large. So four large and four small. So what that tells me is it depends on the injector you're installing. Some are bigger injectors than others. So let's just put the small ones on because we're just doing it, like I said, hand tight just to see what it looks like. Friggin' right, you better do it. I would. These would go like this somehow. Oh, yeah. How come there's not too many screws here? What's really going on? There we go. The fuel rails actually go this way, like that. Why is that one so tight? It's gonna scratch my dicks. It's gonna scratch a cock out of her, Captain. I wonder why that face is in. Like, why would the Holly face in on the on the intake? Why wouldn't it face out? Frig, Holly, what's really going on? I guess it does look kind of cool facing in too. One high, one low, Captain. I like the lowest. Hopefully, I get small injectors. Quality tools to do this, boys. You know those pliers. So there's a the fuel rails just kind of sitting on there, not tightened up or anything. You just want to see how they look, right? Now, what it comes with in here, we'll take a look together. And we'll see what's really involved. So it comes with uh, plugs for the back of the intake in case you don't use those holes. It comes with all the O-ring gaskets for the intake, which I'm not going to put on right now because I don't want to wreck them. And it comes with all these little stud muffins. So these are the actual the stud bolts that hold the intake to the head. And in here, we should have the bolt to put this on here. So let's get this out first and take a gander at it. It looks like this has been out of the bag and everybody's touched it and feeled it and stuff like that. But it's a little rough finish on this one, but I might end up painting it. So just saying, hang tight for that. But we'll put that on there for now like this. And we'll just uh, put some bolts in there to hold her tight for a minute. It does come with a gasket for that also. So put all the gaskets and everything and all the extra clamps back in this box. Get out some of these screws and slap them in the top and see how it looks. But I might get my buddy Trevor there to powder coat the top of this thing. That good old uh, Velocity powder coating. The same color as a van, like that reddish looking color that I seem to really like, eh? We might use that. What do you think of that? Leave your comments down below. Why wouldn't you? But we're just going to zing all these screws in just to hold the lid on. No seals being used or crushed down yet. I like to look at her for a while, I will. These screws go in real nice, except for that one. That one's kind of cocked over. Still on the dirty side, but it's gorgeous. 
really going on, Holly? How come my intake is so dirty? What you do with it? Touchy feely? That's what I think you did with it, anyways. But now that's it for the top. That's how the top goes on. So now we're going to get out this other box because, you know, that's what I do. And we'll take a gander at it. Now, this intake is for a 105 throttle body. And it does come with a gasket and the O-ring for it as well. The big snorkel. So we'll slap the snorkel on with a few screws just to see how she looks. Oh, yeah. I might just put four screws in this thing. All right. So there you go. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's awesome. But we're not done yet because before I get finished here, we got to put the old throttle body on and see how mean it's going to look. And this will also answer a lot of questions that I was looking up on the internet is will a 102 throttle body fit a 105 Holly low ram? So here you go. And I will give you the part numbers and everything else when I'm done here too. So we'll see if this thing bolts up and then it will answer a lot of questions I had and a lot of questions people have had because the 105, it goes from $267 to damn near $800. Holy sniper, huge. Hey, look at, well, my hand's big too, though, but it's pretty big, Jim. And you can fit, I can fit all four fingers in there. Well, we'll get this mounted on and see what it looks like, because that's what will make it look, get it iller. So, here we go. Will it go on? I'm going to say yeah. All right, we got ourselves an Allen wrench, so we don't uh, have such a hard time putting her on. And of course, it's not going to be long enough, is it? Oh my God. How patience. I'm getting there. All right, so there you go. The 102 throttle body does work on the 105 Holly Low Ram intake. But look at that thing, boys. That's awesome. That's going to be on a 1993 GMC Safari van. We're going to put a six liter in my 1993 Safari in the spring. And this is the intake we're going to go with. Because she's going to have turbos and everything else one day. Baby steps, Jim. But I wanted to show you this video because I just got this. And I'm pretty happy about it. So here's my screenshot. Here's my screenshot. I'm glad I brought you along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember, boys, girls, peoples, with Life with Belsif, we do just about everything we do. So this is my LS in my 1993 Safari intake. Throttle body, 86000-5-1. Right there, an intake 300-621, low ram Holly intake. If you ask me why I want the low ram, it's because my van, I don't have much room in the engine compartment because of course it's got to go into the doghouse. So we, that's why we went with a low ram, Captain. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Freaking right, you better. Love you all. Glad you're here. Hope you stick around. And until next time, you know what to do for now.